What do you feel like, you, from playing in the Utah game to now specifically, what do you feel like you've improved most on? Uh, I, I would just say just understanding the situations of the game and, I don't know, play, playing winning football and using our defense, you know, making the smart decisions, making the smart reads, completing the football, I think, you know, limiting turnovers and stuff like that. And I think, yeah, like using our defense, using our run game and, you know, being, being a threat in the play action game. And I think just overall my comfort level, I think I've, I've gotten better with that. And just kind of the game seems to be slowing down, you know, start after start. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Was there one particular game where you felt like you really learned something about the position? Uh, more, more than the other ones? I'd say, I mean, shoot, the Stanford game, my first start, I think uh, it's kind of like, it's a long game. I think that, that's what I learned a lot from that game was that, uh, like, yeah, we didn't start the strongest, but, you know, we, we finished and made plays when we needed to. And I think from that game, I, I learned a lot that, you know, you just got to keep rep after rep, stacking good reps. And at the end of the day, uh, you know, you'll, you'll get a result, good good result. I mean, is it one thing, you guys always talk about you got to prepare to be the starter regardless if you are or not, yeah. but but is it is it different when you know you're going to be the starter and in, in the preparation part? Yeah, for sure, because, I mean, you get you know, a lot more reps during the week of practice, and um, I think also just it, it's, it's hard to, like, say, like, prepare to be the starter when you're the backup yeah. until you're actually the starter, like, yeah, I try my best to do that, but until you actually start, it's, I mean, I, I feel like just getting the extra reps at practice, uh, extra reps even at walkthrough and stuff like that, they all kind of stack on each other, and you just feel more comfortable going into the game. How did you uh, approach the bye week? What Was there things you were able to do during the bye week you wouldn't, knowing, you know, that you're probably going to start Friday? Yeah. You know, I, things that you might not have done otherwise? Uh, I, I think during the bye week I was just mostly concerned about uh, just recovery and uh, taking, I mean, still watching tape and stuff like that, but I took it pretty easy throwing wise. Um, just kind of keep my arm fresh and my legs fresh and uh, definitely watched some tape, got a head start on UW. And um, I, I think it was just a great, you know, a week for all of us to kind of take a deep breath. And then as we head in November, when we want to be play, playing our best ball. So. Does your body feel different eight games in this season versus last year, eight games in, just because you've been playing a lot, or does it feel about the same? Uh, before the bye week, it was, I was, I was different, you know, when you're actually, I mean, I haven't taken a hit in, you know, two years before that or whatever, but, or I don't know, even more than that, but, you know, just, just the hits and stuff. And, uh, it's definitely different, you know, when you're actually out there taking live reps and stuff. So I think just kind of managing that and focusing on recovery. How much uh, does that help to have that extra week and take a look at a, a defense? Yeah, oh, for sure. It's huge. I think, uh. You know, our coaches, they, they've dialed up a great game plan for us this week. And um, I, I think as players, it's, you know, it's a real opportunity to, you know, use when you got an extra week of preparation, just, you know, clip after clip, rep after rep, after rep uh, just getting more comfortable with, with how they're going to play us on defense. So what are you kind of expecting from the Huskies then? Yeah, exactly. I, I think they're, they're uh, you know, a great team, a great defense. You know, they, they got a great a great crowd over there, so it's going to be a it's going to be a tough game for us. But you know, we look forward to the challenge. So. How do you look at an environment like that with the crowd and then with the weather on top of it? Yeah, I, I, I mean, the, the weather. I, I think we it's not going to be much of an issue. Hopefully, it's not much of an issue for us here because we you know we, we pride ourselves in owning the weather and you know we practice in conditions like these all the time. So, but I think definitely the crowd noise. Uh, I mean, we, we had experience with it at Utah, so hopefully that'll kind of will build off that. But it's definitely you know a hostile atmosphere, and you know we we look forward to the challenge. Yeah.